Hola. Buenos días. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. That's about all the Spanish I know. Um, but yeah, happy Cinco de Mayo day. Uh, yesterday was May the 4th be with you. You know, uh, Star Wars, new new movie, all that jazz coming out. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, hmm. Small Guy Promotions. What do we got going on this weekend? I don't know. We did some landscaping around the house. That was fun. It looks a lot prettier than it was before. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, my mother and father-in-law came up and, and did most of the work. Or my father-in-law did most of the work. My wife helped a lot. Mitzi, you're awesome. Make sure... I want to make sure to say her name in this. Mitzi, you're awesome. I'm actually going to use this, Mitzi. I know you're sitting on the other couch. I'm actually recording this, and I'm going to post this. You are awesome, and I love you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, but nah, my wife did a lot of work uh, with my father-in-law. That's pretty cool. Um, I took a half day, or kind of a half day, on Friday. And tried to come and help a little bit. I'm lazy, though. I do like physical work a little bit, so that was kind of nice. Got a little workout. Um, so that was that was what Friday was. Stayed and hung out. Called it an early night, Friday night. Saturday, didn't do much. More landscaping. You know, I worked on my traps because I was working with the wheelbarrow. Mm, mm, mm. Get your swole on. Um, but hung out at home after that. Felt lazy. Took my girls to my parents' house. Didn't do much after that. Didn't go out to any shows or anything. But Sunday morning, Sunday morning, it went down. The Tina Spetsman fundraiser at the Papillion Fire Department. Man, they had so many, so many... Uh, prizes in the raffle and auction like I had never seen a fundraiser that was so big and uh, I think they raised a, a pretty decent amount of money to help uh, Tina Spetsman if you haven't seen it on the news or anything uh, she's a dispatcher who had recently had some health issues uh, stemming back to September of last year she ended up having like open heart surgery and had a stroke during surgery so she hasn't been able to work since so uh, some of her co-workers and friends threw together this huge fundraiser. It was a pancake feed. Um, so it went from like 8 to 1. Man, we want some beef tickets. If y'all didn't see my Instagram video, you know, we want some more cowbell. Uh, uh, uh. We, more, we want, want some Omaha beef tickets. So, so that was cool. Um, but other than that, it was just great to go out and support someone Tina and I used to bowl on the same team back some like 10 years ago uh, so it was really great to be able to participate in that and help out and help raise some funds so that was cool then we went to a, a birthday party after that spent a few hours over there was planning to come home and watch some basketball while I was on ABC since I don't have like cable or satellite but uh, we stayed at the party it was a good decision TV's cool but hanging out with folks uh, and interacting is cool as well. And then, oh, we went to eat creamery to buy a gift card. That's what we do for uh, kids' birthday parties. We don't buy them toys or anything like that. We get them like ice cream cards. Uh, this was the first time we went to eat creamery. Usually we do like TCBY or Orange Leaf. Uh, but yeah, eat creamery was close. So we went in there and I was like, yo, man. I don't know if it's because I'm fat or it just looked really, it just is that good looking. I was like, yo, we need to come back. So, what did we do today? Tuesday, we went back to eat creamery. I got me some lemon cheesecake. You know, it's $2 one scoop Tuesdays at eat creamery. I've been seeing it all over Twitter and stuff. So, I was like, man, we, we got to go and try this place out. For those of y'all who don't know, it's over in the Dundee area. I'll make sure to post the link for their website or whatever they have, their Facebook or something. E Creamery though. Tuesdays, two dollar scoopers. One scoop. Man, they had some great, great lemonade. And I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. If y'all know me, I, you know, I probably should have did the grape. But I figure I'll, I'll definitely have an opportunity in the future to go back and get some grape. We love the grape. You know what it is, grape. Grape drink. Now they got grape ice cream, so you know it's all great. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what was going on over the weekend. We still got the same stuff going on next month. Actually, 
not next month, but on May 23rd, we got the show at the Barley Street Tavern over in Benson. Make sure y'all check that out, man. Please, if you, I know only a few people uh, tune in to the blog, but that's all right. I actually got a compliment today, and I really appreciated it from a coworker, Jeff. You know, you good people. I appreciate what you said. He was like, yo, I really don't like a lot of stuff on Facebook, but I watch your blog, and I like your blog. So I'm going to keep doing the blog because I like talking and I don't know, even if only one person hears, I'm going to blog. Mm. Uh, so May 23rd, don't forget that show, though, at the Barley Street Tavern. And then exciting news. I haven't talked about this on the blog before, but I'm also like a co-host on a web radio show on 1690 The One called Surviving Life's Tribulations. I do it with my co-host Donna Smith. We were on a hiatus for a while. She had some knee surgery. But we will be coming back on Monday, May 11th from 6 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to have a couple of guests. Uh, the Light Poetic Ministry, Alan Stevenson, will be there. And then also Karina Glover. She will be there. So it'll be a good show. Um, I'll make sure to post links for that stuff. Tune in. And then June, that's the busy month. We got the women the omaha women's lifestyle show at the century link june 6th make sure y'all come out ladies this is your day i know this weekend is mother's day but june 6th that is your day at the century link all these businesses will be there maybe over 100 businesses hopefully catering to you it's your day no men allowed uh men can own the businesses but they can't come and be the guests. It's only for you ladies. So come on out to that. That's June 6th. June 7th, the networking event. If you like baseball, if you like the Omaha Storm Chasers, and you want to meet some folks, we're doing a little networking thing where uh, we can all just get together and hang out because we always do business at our small business expos. But this is just an opportunity for people to hang out outside of that environment, get to know each other on a personal note. So we're going to be t uh, tailgating at 1230 courtesy of Ryan Burden, uh, Farm Bureau, you know, uh, insurance. I think it's like life. That's not the actual name. It's like life and I don't know, something else. But he's the sponsor of that event. So we're going to tailgate at 1230. The game starts at 205. That is Sunday, June the 7th. Then June the 13th, uh, we've got the live, live music show at the 402. And that is the Feel Good Music you know, courtesy of Small Guy Promotions. I guess Small Guy Promotions presents Feel Good Music. And then June 28th at the Comfort Inn on 72nd and Grover, Small Business Expo. We're still looking for small businesses. If you're a small business in the area and you want to do some advertising and marketing, June 28th, get in contact with Small Guy Promotions. Uh, we'd love to have you out as long as you're an honest, uh, laid-back, cool business that wants to meet some other business owners and hopefully the general public will have free raffles and stuff, free entry, free admission for the general public. So come on out June 28th. Comfort in. Small Guy Promotions. Small Business Expo. Why not? I don't know. But that's about all I got. It's like eight and a half minutes. That's a long time. So I'm signing out. Adios!